Hey, Mr. Estrada here, and our learning target for this video is I can perform dilations in the coordinate plane. All right, so a dilation is a transformation that changes the size of a figure. All right, so let me show you what a dilation is. So uh, here we have a rectangle, A, B, C, D. As of right now, nothing is being done to it. You can see uh, A prime, B prime, C prime, D prime are exact replicas of the original coordinates, so nothing's happening right now. But if I play with this thing here, the scale factor, it's going to change the size of the original rectangle. See that? And that's what a dilation is. A dilation changes the size of the figure. So a dilation is noted with a capital D and is followed by a scale factor. So this is how a dilation is normally noted. You'll see a capital D and then right over here in a smaller font you'll see a scale factor. So the scale factor is what determines whether the figure will get bigger or whether it will get smaller. So that K there, lowercase k, is your scale factor. And the way to get the figure to change size is via multiplication. We'll talk a little bit more about that in a bit. I just want to point out something else here. You'll notice that if the scale factor is 1, nothing happens to the figure. Right? You're just multiplying by 1, you'll get the same coordinates. But if the scale factor is bigger than 1, the figure gets bigger. And if the scale factor is less than 1, the figure gets smaller. So that's important. You need to have that in your notes. If the scale factor, or k, is greater than 1, the figure will enlarge. It'll get bigger. If k, the scale factor, is less than 1, the figure will shrink. It will get smaller. Let's try an example. So example 1 says, triangle PZG has vertices P20, Z negative 1, negative 1, and G1, negative 2. What are the coordinates of the image P prime, Z prime, G prime after the transformation D2? So we know we're dealing with a dilation. We see that capital D, and it's being followed by the scale factor. That 2 is your scale factor. So to perform the dilation, you multiply the coordinates by the scale factor. You're going to multiply by K. So I went ahead and I wrote the original coordinates here, and I'm just going to multiply them by 2. The x and the y you're going to multiply, and you will get the new coordinates of the dilated image. So after multiplying by 2, the x and the y coordinates, I get these coordinates here. So the question is, what are the coordinates of the image p prime, z prime, g prime after the transformation? The answer is right over here. This is the answer. All you have to do is just multiply by the scale factor to get the new coordinates. Here's what the figure looks like if you were to graph it. So you'll notice that the uh, dilated image is bigger in size and it's actually twice the size of the original image because you multiplied by 2. Okay, so here are some facts that you got to know, all right? A dilation is not an isometry. An isometry is a transformation that does not change the size of a figure. It essentially preserves distance. So that's what an isometry does. It preserves distance doesn't change the size of the figure. So a dilation is not an isometry. And that's important. Make sure you know that. All right. Here's a question I want you to answer for me tomorrow. And you got to answer this if you want to get full credit for this assignment. Let me just 
fix this thing here. That should say D. The question says, which of the following transformations are in isometry? So make sure you have this question for me answered tomorrow. All right, so some things to remember. A dilation changes the size of a figure. The pre-image and the after image will not be congruent. Two, if you multiply the coordinates by a whole number, the figure will get bigger. If you multiply the coordinates by a fraction, the figure will get smaller. And, and actually, I should just add a little caveat, right? And this is if the fraction is less than 1. Because, you know, sometimes you can have an improper fraction that's greater than 1. All right, so uh, that's it for this video. I do hope this helps. Take care.